A hubbub of bubbling voices surges out of the lecture theatre, young voices, strong voices, exhilarated into sun-laden grounds, into the intransigent summer's impossible light, into a place that Noongar people fished and sang for thousands of years, tossing up ideas, chayacking each other, taking the mickey, but so alive and dimly aware, the future is on their tongues. And they taste it because others have worked and thought, discussed and written, through study and intuition, in laboratory, library and class, over coffee and committee. The endless striving to know, to imagine, to understand, from what we are, what we might yet be. In Romanesque stone and flourishing gardens that show the first academy and Athenian grove. An acknowledgement of history, even in times of easy cynicism, when history is glibly forgotten, drowning in pop culture and mindless chatter. Here is a place where apprehensions of thought, of ideas and imagination really matter. A community that is the wider community's best part. The heart lifts a little on perceiving its beauty. Eyes open a little wider. Ears listen a little more acutely. To be of our time is all that time allows us. But UWA, one century old, will persist, bigger than any or all of us. We, lucky enough to have studied here, taught here, to have thought here, acknowledge the university as part of us because we have been part of it. Know that wisdom is a horizon, that as you come closer, it recedes and that this is the nature of knowledge, the journey more enriching than the goal. To those who have gone, we cannot speak, but can respect. To those young voices to come, a hundred years hence, we offer you the gift of what we know and of our ignorance, that you will sweep aside in that ongoing search, yours and ours. And may you keep a sense of the modesty of wisdom, of its poetry and grace, pursued forever in this special place. Uh, this weekend is more about uh, connecting and reconnecting, about joining shared memories and, and uh, reigniting forgotten friendships and about finding and, and revisiting those places uh, that are very special to us in this, uh, on this very beautiful campus. And though over time we've expanded from the original 184 students to almost 25,000 today, we've never deviated from our original purpose, which was to seek wisdom and to make a difference. Your presence here this morning is testimony uh, to one of the great strengths of this university, that is the relationships that it has with its alumni and friends and with the general community here in Western Australia. It's a very great privilege to welcome all of you here tonight uh, on behalf of the University. I, like I think all of you, are very proud to graduate of this place and, and uh, we're here to celebrate a century of achievement uh, at the University of Western Australia. The University was established as a very practical institution with the express purpose of advancing the prosperity and welfare of the people. It's an institution that's always had a very strong community orientation. And it's fabulous that we're able to host you here tonight as our alumni and to host the wider Perth community on campus 
for the rest of this evening until after midnight. And our staff and students and our alumni have made major contributions to knowledge, to the development and prosperity in Western Australia and throughout the nation and in the wider world. Tonight represents the first official event of the University's centenary celebrations and in a moment we'll see the UWA story told in all of its glory across one of the most iconic landmarks in Western Australia, Winthrop Hall, named of course after our great benefactor, Sir John Winthrop Hackett. There could be nowhere more appropriate uh, on the campus to begin our centenary celebrations. 